This is a mobile captured a bit overexposed image which I will try to turn to something very dramatic using the free app Snapseed. First in tune image I am going to bring the overall brightness down. and increase the shadow values for some details from the darker parts. Now I'm going to use a bunch of effects with the curves tool and a lot of selective masking for further edits. You can notice some blue color in the background sky. Also I want to increase the colors of the vegetation. To do that opening the curves tool here and below selecting the blue curve. Here I am going to move the blue curve towards right. Moving left adds blues but moving right removes the blues and also adds the opposite color yellow. Now the colors look better but not on the stairs. So going to masking, tap on the stacks icon on the top right, view edits, latest curves and brush. Here with the effect enabled and the brush value at zero, I am going to brush out the effect on the stairs. Zooming in to get precise selection. Applying it. Next with the curves again, I am going to darken the image by bringing down the top point of the curve, also the middle part. And with masking, with the effect enabled, brushing out the parts where I want to keep the light. varying the transparency levels of the brush to not crush the details in the darker parts. Further darken the bottom part, especially the stairs there, I'm going to again use curves with masking. Next, to create sunlight with some morning fog using curves, I am going to crush the blacks by moving the bottom point up. Then applying this look with masking around the gap here where I want the sun rays to come. Varying the transparency values to give the fog effect a more natural look. Next, to further brighten the part where the light is coming, again brightening with curves. Also adding yellowish tone by dragging the blue curve right and applying it with masking.
now some selective filters on the greens here to make them pop a bit Also one on the stairs. One around here to darken the sky on these parts. Next for a warmer look, increasing the temperature and tint. As the stairs look too reddish now, I'm gonna remove the effect a bit there with masking. Coming back to the selective filters, adding more brightness to these parts of the greens. To pop the brighter parts, increasing the highlights here. Also adding some saturation. Reducing the shadows a bit for some contrast. Now for some dodge and burn with the brush tool. With the value at minus 5, brushing on these stairs to darken a bit. Bit of dodging too. So here are the changes applied after each effect. Thanks for watching.